Hello, so we are going to present it about our group. We are from group 3. Group 3's group name is Neon G Demos. Neon stands for new, G stands for earth, and Demos stands for people. So, there are three contents of this presentation. The first is Neon, second is G, and the final content is Demos. Neon, taken from Matthew 9, verse 17. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runs out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. The keyword from this verse we got is neon, which means new. The reference from this verse is American King James Version or AKGV. And the topic about this verse is Jesus is questioned about fasting. The speaker is Jesus and the one who listened, the disciples of John. This purpose of this verse is a warning. According to the first, we cannot change the past or it might break your future. What it means that the past is the past and the future is the future. Thus, we just have to think more for our future and are trying to repair things that have been done in the past. If you did something wrong, analyze your problem and find a solution so you won't do it again. We got this word from Matthew 24 verse 35. This verse tells us that heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. In this case, my stands for our Lord Jesus. So the key word is G and it stands for land. The reference is American King James Version or AKJV Version. The topic is the parable of the fig tree. The speaker is of course God our Lord. The listener is his disciples, and the purpose is a warning from God to his disciples. Anything man-made is also to be destroyed, time eroded, and destined for decay. But Jesus' words, God's words, are eternal. They are firm and sure and a foundation on which to build our lives. This verse showed us that God's words are eternal, as I have said before. Eternity and immutability of God's words will make us always use the words of God as the basis of our life and our doctrine. So, from my perspective, is that God's words are very important. What is made to build our lives, as I have said before. So, whatever we do now will change the future of us when we go up to God upstairs. Of course, there's heaven and there's earth. Our words shows our symbolizes that we will be going to heaven or we will be going to hell. Demos. We got Acts 12 verse 22 for this word. This verse tell us that and the people gave a shout saying it is the voice of a God and not of a man. The keyword of this word is Demos. It stands for people and the reference is American King James Version or AKJV Version. The writer is Luke, the listener is God, and the purpose is praise. King Herod was very stubborn, so don't be a stubborn man, because Jesus our God doesn't like people who are stubborn. For example, in Acts 12 verse 22, King Herod, because of his stubborn, he didn't give glory to God. From my perspective, arrogance is a bad thing. Lucifer fell because of his arrogance, so we should never be arrogant.